Uh, yes, I, I wanted to see, of course, there is a lot of technologies and maybe uh, many more than, than before. That's, that's the first point. The second point I want to focus on is that uh, the size of the company increases uh, a lot. And when the company increases, that they have to uh, structure themselves. Uh, and so they have to, uh, to organize, to organize industrial processes so they can be very excellent uh, in, uh, in operational, operational processes, in quality, uh, uh, of course. Uh, and so uh, the other point is you have every day more and more regulations. Uh, you have to comply with uh, more regulation. You have uh, anti-money laundering and terrorism uh, laws. Uh, so the legal part is very important and more than ever. And this is a really co uh, a big cost for, for big companies because if you're non compliant, uh, uh, well, you, you can uh, give a lot of money and you can be uh, pursued by, uh, by, uh, by the security uh, people from uh, other governments or, or whatever. So large companies tend to be cautious and uh, they, they, they tend to uh, multiply the, the layers and the processes and the controls. So this is a uh, well, this is not the way you can innovate because you, you can have risk adverse and because you don't tolerate uncertainty. But uh, the thing is that innovation, at the first point, is something very uncertain and this is very risky and uh, uh, something that is not really uh, aligned with uh, these controls and uh, that tends to kill innovation. So I think this is very, uh, maybe as a second point, but uh, you know, the big company have lost the, the, the entrepreneur uh, risk appetite, what we can say. Uh, they, they, they are really driving, drive, driven by uh, uh, maximizing profit and uh, to be uh, to optimize, to optimize uh, well, capital and labor resources. Uh, and as I say, innovation is a deviant, is a risk, is an uncertainty. So. Uh, it's not compatible uh, in big companies to, to innovate or to, to take risk uh, with all these processes. This is the second point uh, about regulation and uh, all the processes and the quality processes. Uh, another point, uh, I think, uh, is pretty new, uh, I, I guess. I don't know it's uh, about Gen Y uh, or millennials. Uh, I, I, want, I don't want to, to be in the cliché. But what I want to say that uh, the, all the crises, uh, Particularly in 2008 and 9, maybe before, uh, produces also a kind of a mistrust between the, the employees and, and the managers, and, uh, and the employees, uh, even the manager, uh, kind of uh, a fear of losing their jobs, and uh, the, it became very tense and, and steeper and. Uh, I think that, uh, as I said on the slide, as Gary Amelge uh, said, well, today, when in a world when uh, very, uh, there is a, a constant change and uh, a fierce competition, uh, where you, uh, you, you can be, you can go and with the management uh, with a very uh, hierarchical or with a very uh, pyramid mode of management. So, because that kind of management uh, disengages uh, employees uh, and it discourages uh, initiative and risk taking. So I think we, uh, this is a main point also to, uh, to be aware that we have to uh, reintroduce the, the art of management and, and to be able to, uh, well, at least in France or maybe in Europe, to, to be able to, to, to create an environment to, uh, so the, the risk uh, appetite flourish even inside a, a big company. And maybe to produce the lack of initiative, as I said. Olivier? And, uh, well, the, the, Olivier? you have a point, you, you also have a lot of startups that maybe you didn't have before. Olivier, so can you hear me? Yes, Olivier? I are you? Jack? Uh, yes, uh, yes, Jack. Uh, you are not so optimistic. Huh? What you are, what you are, what you are saying is is very uh, pessimistic, uh, uh, a pessimistic view of the uh, of the uh, of the large company. Huh? So, uh, if I understood well what you are saying, you are saying that you are, we are um, uh, surrounded by by a lot of constraints, external and internal constraints, and we are completely yes. uh, uh, f uh, frozen and uh, and completely uh, uh, blocked. Regarding the innovation uh, part, 
And that's, that's the reason why uh, it's, it's a little bit difficult in a large company, in a large organization to create or to propose some, some, some innovation stuff. That's what you are, what you are saying. But, but uh, um, in the other way around, you, 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 you have the, the capability and the possibility to create something in your organization, which is very, very large and, and, and maybe a little bit heavy regarding compliance, regarding regulatory affairs, regarding all these constraints. So how, how did you manage this, this point? And why? Why the trends are, uh, uh, are different and uh, maybe could uh, open some doors? Yes. Yeah, of course. Uh, I don't know if I'm uh, pessimistic about it. But, uh, the, the, the point is that it, there is, a, as you said, uh, a lot of constraints, and you have to behave certainly differently than than before because the world is very, uh, very fast, very complex, and as I said, very networked, and uh, and so you have to to behave differently if you want to to innovate at, at the pace of uh, of startups, uh, especially. Uh, okay. So. As you said, uh, how can you innovate in, in this context? Uh, that, that's the main point. And there are different ways to innovate for, for, for a big company. Uh, first of all, I, I wanted to, to say um, that uh, the real challenge for big companies is uh, to create an ecosystem, uh, an internal one and an external uh, ecosystem. So you can have an approach of management of uh, the innovation uh, that is uh, capable of to to create uh, risk appetite to create uh, confidence. So outside the company, inside the company, customers and employees can push ideas and recognize that you are uh, the ideas that can be a uh, great ones. Uh, as you know, certainly that there are different tracks to to innovate. Uh, I, I, I put on the slide. Uh, uh, I point, I, I'm pointing out on the slide uh, four different ones, so you can create an, an innovation fund, so, so some companies are doing it, not to make money uh, by buying and, and selling companies, but just to, uh, to source uh, new trends, to source uh, new technologies, to, to source new uh, uh, use case or new uh, customer experience. That's a good way if you, uh, to, to start. You can create an ecosystem with, with startups, incubators, or startups directly. So you can find uh, synergies between large companies uh, because if you can't do the, the, the stuff yourself, then maybe you can buy the technology or, or the use case. Uh, you can create a lab, but uh, the main point of my presentation, so I, I go on uh, after. And I think you also have a, a, a challenge, maybe uh, we can say this, on uh, entrepreneurship. Uh, because if you want to keep uh, Employees engage in the company, maybe, the, and if you want, they don't go outside to to build and to set up their startup. Maybe the, a good way to to launch some entrepreneurship uh, programs so you can keep uh, very motivated and very creative people inside your your own company. So innovate with uh, the Leash method. The Leash is uh, the method I, I found out and I proposed to, to you. Uh, it's L for a lab. I for ideation, S for startup, and H for human. Uh, a lab, why a lab? Because, uh, as I said, you have a, a lot of uh, processes in big companies. And this proce these processes are, are really uh, good for your operational, pro operational excellence. Uh, you need these processes. Uh, the, the challenge is to say, how I can I innovate uh, being different uh, in a way when I want to innovate? Uh, in parallel of uh, these uh, industrial uh, processes or this industrial organization. I think the lab is a, a nice answer because the lab can have many uh, functions. They can facilitate uh, and diffuse uh, the entrepreneurial spirit, uh, a way to, uh, to behave differently, to take risks and, re and to fail fast inside the, the company, which is not the case uh, with all the industrial processes. Uh, this is also a platform between the, uh, the external world and the internal world, uh, with the startup, with the universities, 
with the tech companies like Chosity, where we, what we did uh, with uh, with you, Jack. And uh, as I said, this is a, a new spirit you can uh, push inside the lab uh, for daring experimenting. Um, this is uh, the first pillar of my of the method I propose. Uh, and uh, the second one is, uh, I think, is ideation. Ideation because you. Uh, as I said, you're, the world is moving too fast. Uh, the world is very complex, very uncertain, and uh, well, you can you have to behave differently. You have to uh, to organize yourself differently, and you have to you can't do everything alone. So uh, the the thing I, I'm going to share after, because I remember Jacques having a, a talk with you, and uh, he was telling me that. Uh, where well, open innovation is a big word uh, in, uh, inside the big companies uh, lately, but they only have uh, words for the startups. But you know, uh, companies like Sojeti on uh, Capgemini or whatever, we do innovate uh, ourselves. And, and you're right. Uh, lately, uh, all the big company wants to make a partnership with startups, and maybe we forget that uh, big companies like Sojeti can. Uh, also uh, push innovation, and uh, I remember the way we work. And I, I really appreciate it. So, of course, in an open, in an open innovation world, you have uh, the clients, where it's very important. You have the schools and university. You have the startups, but uh, don't forget uh, on the uh, the technology companies as I said uh, uh, earlier. Uh, and when you uh, ask for startup, that's the third uh, pillar of my. Uh, Method I propose, and uh, well, uh, lately uh, big companies are uh, afraid of uh, being disrupted or being uh, uh, uberized by uh, by some startup. I, I don't really uh, agree with all this. Uh, I think that uh, instead of being uh, afraid, maybe you have to just uh, see how a startup is uh, organizing and functioning, and maybe at least in the lab, because. I do think that you need all the industrial processes, uh, all the industrial uh, organization, because when you're doing an Airbus, an airplane, you, you really need to be uh, really strong in quality processes. But in the lab, at least, uh, to, the, uh, to, uh, to innovate at uh, really, uh, really a great speed, you, 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 maybe you, you can uh, uh, imitate the startups and uh, use uh, some uh, well, test and learn processes, uh, child processing, uh, I'm sure you're, you're aware of it. So I just uh, uh, focused a little bit on this, but the, the last one, the round table financing process, I think that's a, a, a nice one because in big companies, usually you, uh, you propose, uh, you have many committees to, uh, to share an idea and to validate an idea. And I propose uh, to, uh, to process and, uh, and behave like a star, as you were a startup inside the big companies and asking for a bit of money and then like a lot of money and maybe then share your, your, what you, you did with this and ask for more money and not having the, the wall of uh, funding at the beginning of the, of the project. But Olivier, and uh, Olivier, human, Olivier? the last one, uh, yes? Olivier, how, you many, asked, uh, how many startups are you working with? Right, right now, how many startups? Right now, wow, many startups. Uh, uh, more and more, maybe five or six uh, at the moment. Uh, uh, yeah, five or six. Five oh. or six. I, I, in insurance part, huh, I guess uh, for BBC yeah. Group, it's, uh, it's even more. And it can be from, uh, I don't know, from uh, asking uh, what the customer uh, wants like to share some uh, satisfactory uh, questionnaire, like Survey Monkey one. Uh, and it can be like uh, lately I'm working on a chatbot, artificial intelligence too, uh, with a startup called uh, Zelros. Uh, we are working also with uh, some companies uh, around uh, artificial intelligence about uh, processing uh, emailing uh, automatically, uh, emails uh, in a, an automated uh, way. Uh, so yeah, so, more and more uh, startups are working so, with us. And, and and isn't it isn't it a, a, a tough a tough job to to coordinate and synchronize and manage all this uh, uh, startup portfolio for for example because it's huge, yeah? no? It, it it is it is and uh, yes. Every, 
not everything is perfect, uh, as, you, as you know. Uh, but uh, I think we uh, we are more and more, uh, yeah, we're getting better in, uh, in that way. And uh, the thing is, uh, the, the main challenge today, I think, I, I don't know for other companies, but now making a, a proof of concept is very uh, easy. I mean, uh, and uh, the risk now is, uh, okay, we have done a, a proof of concept, so now uh, when are we going in, uh, in production, in real life? And uh, this is a, a crucial point, and this is uh, something very uh, fragile in, uh, fragile in, uh, in, uh, in the big company. So I think now the, the big companies are mature to work with startups, at least to make proof of concept, or, uh, or maybe uh, uh, MVP. But uh, the, the challenge now is to, to go on, on production uh, more often than we, did, uh, what, than we are doing uh, lately. Okay. Uh, human, so we can, uh, we can see. Uh, human is very important. Uh, as you know, I'm sure uh, innovation is a, is a, is a mindset. Uh, and uh, even if you are doing a lab, I think you need to infuse all the company. And the lab is a good way to show all the company that you're innovating, but you have to also uh, show the company that you need everybody and that you can uh, share ideas with everybody and anybody can maybe work for a while in the lab because they have a great idea. So this is a state of mind that must be spread all over the company. And uh, the danger is to think that a lab as a single pole outside uh, outside any control of the, of the company. So this is a risk we can share after. after. Uh, as I'm saying right now, uh, as I said before, management is uh, very in question in big companies, uh, maybe, maybe not in tech companies, but in big companies like insurance companies, bank companies, is very uh, pyramidal uh, way of work. Uh, there is a lot of disengagement of uh, of people, a lot of, uh, as you may know, uh, stress and burnouts. So there is a, a, a big challenge for companies. I, I think innovation and uh, innovation management can be a really uh, nice way, a positive way to uh, bring back uh, employees uh, to engagement in the company because it brings very nice values as uh, proactivity, collaboration, uh, and, uh, and transparency. And, uh, and maybe cross-functional uh, 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 work. And I think, uh, yeah, uh, I'm not maybe objective, but uh, what I'm saying inside the company is that uh, innovation can bring a lot uh, of uh, nice values and can bring a lot of well-being for all the, the employees of, of the company. A few examples, uh, if we have time, uh, before the, the, the oh, last yeah. point. A uh, few examples, so as, as uh, maybe we didn't say it clearly at the beginning, but uh, we met when, we, when I launched uh, a few day, years before the lab cash management. That was a, a lab uh, dedicated to all the offers around cash management and trend finance for the treasury of big companies like Sojeti and, uh, and Capgemini, uh, Orange, uh, uh, Alcatel, Lucent, or, or whatever, and and uh, the spirit was to launch uh, in a really frequent ways uh, new ideas uh, around cash management services, and that is really new. It was back in uh, 2009. That was kind of very very new uh, in France uh, in the French market, and that gave us the opportunity to uh, to operate uh, differently uh, in a lean way. Uh, as I said, in uh, cost box or design to cost mode. And uh, yes, you, you mentioned it, uh, Jacques. Uh, we did some uh, iPad uh, application for uh, maybe in 2010, maybe uh, even. It was for the Salesforce. And uh, it was a really nice way. And it was, uh, well, we, we, uh, I think we, we couldn't have done it in an in a industrial world. Because when you are uh, managing the budget, and with all the constraints around the budget, uh, innovation is the first part to be uh, cancelled. So you, re you really need to, uh, to, uh, to save a part for innovation around the lab or, or whatever you call it. 
So that, this, that was the, the way we, we did function in uh, cash management with uh, the lab. Uh, I, I put, maybe we, we can share it very quickly, uh, two other examples that can be different. Uh, Pernod Ricard, I don't know if you know per Pernod Ricard, everybody knows it's uh, about uh, spirituals, uh, alcohol. Good so they, they, they did launch a, a, a lab and uh, their challenge is to create new, uh, not new brands, because marketing is uh, really uh, in charge of creating, creating new brands. But uh, the, the main goal of this lab is to create disruption, to create new markets, new money for in two or uh, in five years maybe. So uh, they, uh, they created some uh, uh, machine, uh, uh, some bar at home. Uh, it's a bar when you can, uh, with an application, and you can refill of the alcohol, and you have all these recipes of the cocktails. And it has been showed in uh, the Consumer Electronic uh, Conference in, uh, in Las Vegas uh, in late uh, last uh, January. And uh, I hope that, that can be launched uh, uh, pretty soon, because it, it, this sounds very nice. Uh, another one is iLab for early kids. This one is also uh, really in a, in a goal with, for disruption, uh, finding new uh, territories, new uh, new turnover for the companies, uh, so we, we can keep uh, growing. And uh, these labs are really thinking uh, in a breakthrough way uh, for new opportunities, uh, and not being in competition with all the industrial parts of the rest of the company. Here we are for the method uh, niche, uh, Jacques. Okay, so uh, if you have um, maybe uh, two or three recommendations uh, on your experiences, uh, or, or, or on your experience, or on your on your feedback on the way that you um, uh, put in place uh, such uh, uh, such a methodology to uh, nurture the innovation within a, a large and constrained uh, company. What, what, what are your your recommendations? Your main recommendation on that? Yes, uh, I thought about it. Uh, I put some. Uh, yeah, you have, you have some. I, I do point out three or four of them. Uh, partnership, maybe I could call it uh, light. Uh, innovation is taking a lot of uh, sunlight. Uh, maybe I can say it. I, I hope you understand. Uh, lately, when you are talking about digital or innovation, uh, it is taking a lot of light uh, inside the company, but it can create a lot of uh, jealous people. And can, in big companies, when, when it is uh, very political, uh, you have to be aware that uh, that can be uh, a danger for you if you are taking uh, so uh, some uh, too much light. So maybe don't take too much light, and, or at least share it with partners. Uh, as you know, uh, Jacques, uh, I'm not an IT people. I'm uh, a guy from uh, business, and uh, yeah, I did a, a partnership with uh, with the tech, uh, the IT system in, in Atixis. Uh We share the goal. The goal was to to find uh, not new technologies, but uh, it was to find new uh, new ways, uh, uh, new uh, use case with the customers. So that was it was on the marketing side. But even if it was in, on the marketing side, I was working closely with uh, an IT people inside the team that was affected uh, inside the inside the lab. So you have to uh, to share all the goals, and not only for the CEO with the CEO, but also with a lot of bunch of people. Uh, IT department is maybe the first one, but uh, see, you have to really, as I say, share the light and uh, don't. To, Take too much of it and uh, share the success with uh, everybody. That was the first uh, point. Uh, the second Olivier. point. Uh, Olivier. Olivier. Yes. Just uh, what I have what I have understood is, is you is uh, acting as a getaway. Uh, uh, it's what you are saying, acting as a getaway be between between the different uh, components of a, of a company could be the right way to uh, create or to, to connect the dots. Between the different ideas and avoid to uh, capture all the light on the 
innovation, as you said, because you you point out out uh, really a risk uh, a, a, a risk uh, in order and and uh, if you if you are like that, uh, effectively you can uh, um, uh, create frustration. So what I am what I understand well um, from from what what you are saying is um, to act as a gateway as a as a catalyst uh, within the company in order to generate collaboration between between people uh, and uh, doing like exactly. that uh, will 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 uh, leverage all the all the uh, the ideas and all the uh, all the willingness yeah you're right and uh, you uh, this is a uh, one part the second part is also to avoid uh, misunderstanding inside the company because uh, when you say, uh, as you are going fast, you break some rules and uh, to go fast. And uh, but the thing is that you are in a in an experimental way, yeah. and so uh, you 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 have to be very clear with all the the partners that uh, is not because you better than you're going faster. It's because you're doing things differently for just a small perimeter, uh, and because maybe you can frustrate IT people because uh, they are under the water uh, dealing with all the legal uh, rules, all the conformity, all the compliance uh, stuff. And uh, it, 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 so you don't competing with operational processes. Operational processes, you have to say that it is clearly for all uh, certain, uh, with, for environment and project that are certain, with no uncertainty around the technology, offer, market, or whatever. But you have to process in the lab innovation that drives uncertainty, what has uncertainty around the technology. Maybe the technology is unmature. Maybe the market, uh, you don't know it. Maybe uh, there is, you don't know if there is going to be an appetite uh, for, from the market. Maybe you don't know the business model. And you have very... Uh, to be very careful in uh, very uh, in uh, uh, well, saying this is the project for the the operational side, operational industrial uh, organization, and this is uh, what innovation is and what uh, the lab is dealing with, because it's not competing between. Uh, there is no competition. It has, has to be competition between uh, the lab and the industrial processing. Uh, the second thing is that you have to uh, to be inspired by startups and at least to uh, to be differently, break the rules certainly, and to be aware that uh, innovation is very uh, fragile and that you have to go beyond experimentation. As I said earlier, uh, it's pretty easy now to make uh, proof of concept or MVP. Uh, you you can find budget for it, but the main challenge is to go beyond the, the POC, beyond the MVP. And to find a sponsor to to go uh, on production. Uh, communication, yes, I said uh, a word on, on, about taking the, the light. You have to share the vision. You have to share the purpose and the means. Uh, also, the, the principles. As I said, uh, maybe uh, st strongly, you have to break some rules. But uh, you have to say you break the rules. But it's a small amount of uh, you. You're not putting the the company in danger because. You, you are maybe working for with 20 or, or 30 clients, and uh, you it's a really a, a perimeter, a little perimeter that you you dealing with, and everybody is aware of it. You you're not putting the company in danger. So and you have to communicate uh, where about a, a logo because uh, even if you don't have to take too much light and to share it with other partners, it, it is important I think that you share uh, an identity inside the company so the people are, are, are coming to you uh, and are providing you with a, a pipeline of ideas. Uh, the last one I think is a uh, measure. Uh, it's, it's not always uh, KPI, it's not always easy uh, uh, when you're talking about innovation. But I think you do have to put uh, innovation. That's uh, the way you uh, give confidence in what you're doing uh, with uh, all the uh, C-suits. If you don't have the KPIs, they, uh, they won't believe you or we don't take you uh, uh, seriously. So if you want to, to be taken seriously uh, by the company, uh, by the C-suits, you have to provide uh, KPIs. 
So I put some on the side. You, you, you can be. It depends of the goal of the, your uh, innovation uh, uh, approach and uh, management. It can be for to create a new market. It can be to establish a new business model. It can be a, a goal uh, for the internal uh, of the company to uh, to create a, a new spirit of creativity inside the company. Uh, maybe to develop new offers and. Uh, uh, well, in, in mirroring uh, of the, this uh, goal, you have to, to find the, all the KPIs. Some is maybe it can be, for example, uh, to say, well, if you are, I, I, I'm thinking uh, about a new uh, a new offer, it can be to say, well, this new offer has to uh, give us uh, a 20 percent uh, new turnover for in uh, two or three years, and uh, this is very very important. Well, this is uh, at least the end of uh, me talking alone with, with Jack, so I don't know if uh, other people, uh, I hope you enjoy it first, uh, and maybe you have uh, some questions uh, around it. I, I put the, the box on the, <laughs> the gray box so I can see if there is any questions. Uh, tell me uh, what you think, and uh, well, there is no taboo, so we can share uh, maybe a few minutes about the, the presentation and uh, the method I, I propose. Thanks, many thanks, Olivier. Uh, I let uh, Deepika uh, and uh, Vinita maybe uh, to gather the, the different uh, questions uh, yeah, yeah, from, from, from the audience. Do we have some questions? We need the first one. <laughs> oh, I, I asked a, a, a lot of questions. Uh, uh, Olivier, no question from from participants from 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 Ojan. Let me see on the box. Uh, no. Okay, there is a question from uh, uh, Fabien, I think, and uh, Stephen. No. Any question? So you are very clear. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. This is one point of view. Steven, maybe he said yes. <laughs> what were the biggest, uh, the biggest hurdles? It's a question from uh, uh, from Fabien Senland. You know Fabien, huh? you met uh, you met him, I'm yeah. sure. What, what was the, the can you repeat? What were the biggest hurdles, Fabien? If you can. I don't understand. Sorry, I, I, with some noise, I, I don't uh, hear yeah. you anymore. Uh, can you write the it? The question is, uh, Fabian's question is, uh, what were the biggest hurdles? Hurdles. Ah, uh, yeah. Hurdles. Uh, um, uh, In French, it's better. Yes, yeah. you, you're right, Fabien. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Um, <laughs> Well, there is many. Uh, the first one it was to uh, to convince everybody that, that we had to create a lab. That was, uh, as I said, back in uh, 2009, it was pretty new. Uh, as I said, the lab is really uh, acts uh, for being uh, around the disruption. It's not about incremental innovation. Uh, so a hurdle can be uh, to think about uh, two or three years ahead. So uh, the biggest order was to, to find a, a quick win uh, so we can convincing people that uh, we are going the right way. Uh, that was one order. The second order was, of course, uh, the budget. It was to, um, yeah, to, to share that uh, we needed a, a separate uh, budget, not a big one. I think we, you can do with the digital, you can do uh, a lot uh, with uh, with less maybe at least to prove uh, make a proof of concept. Uh, as I said, it was a hurdle, well, but we knew it before, so we did a, a great partnership. I think with uh, IT people, it was to uh, to really explain and to share with uh, the IT department that we we were not working against them being faster, but we were working with them and. Uh, uh, to to be to uh, yeah to be to be able to have uh, one IT people in the in the lab was a, a key success. It, that was an order at the beginning, but that was a key success at the end. 
uh, but that's what uh, I okay. can say on this. So I that's see another one. Question. What about the risk okay. management by working with external uh, startup? Yeah. Uh, yes, if I take this one, uh, risk management. So we're working closely with uh, the buying department. Uh, they, they're getting uh, more and more mature uh, with uh, in the, the bank and now bank with uh, startup pass now. So the, the legal department uh, elaborated uh, a special uh, document, uh, uh, a special uh, way of working with a startup. Uh, so what could be really uh, tough and hard, uh, maybe uh, five years ago, can be uh, easier right now. Uh, so we do have a risk management uh, with a buying department, but uh, it's really dealt with a new uh, way of uh, contracting with them. And Olivier, in the other way around, what is the risk for a startup to work with a large company? Uh, the risk, uh, I don't know if it's a risk, but uh, the thing is you have to find the right way to work uh, out your partner. Uh, because uh, partnership uh, can be uh, raised many ways, uh, maybe with four or five ways. We can uh, quote that uh, you can be uh, bought by a big company. Maybe that's not what you, you, you want. You can, the, the big company, uh, I think the a big risk is, is that the big company uh, uh, demand, uh, has some demands around exclusivity. Because maybe, uh, I don't know if I'm an insurer, uh, uh, maybe, uh, maybe I want to, to say to the, to the startup that I want to be exclusive on this offer and that it don't work with my competitors. I think this is a, an hurdle and a danger for the, the startup. And after you have a, a light partnership, which uh, right, we can have a win-win, a win-win uh, win approach between the big companies and uh, and the startup. Uh, the, the big company is providing uh, the growth with a, a client basis. And uh, the startup is uh, bringing uh, technology and uh, maybe speed in, in the in project space. Pace. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, the big danger is maybe exclusivity or being bought by the big company too, uh, too early. Okay. Uh, uh, Stephen, Stephen uh, indicates that the big companies are have a long breath. Uh, things can take long, while startups often don't have long before money runs out. So it could be a risk for a startup to to, to work and as you say, uh, as you say, yeah, it's really a, a close relationship based on a win-win uh, um, cooperation. Um, yeah. Otherwise, uh, it fails. Huh? But otherwise, it's. What, what, it, what can it's I, I, I already answer a bit, but what can I, I can add? It's that uh, as I said, it's pretty easy uh, right now. I think maybe uh, not everywhere, but to make a proof of concept MVP. Uh, so I think the startup is, is going, ah, yeah, great, I'm doing a, a proof of concept with a big company, that's great. Uh, but maybe uh, after it's, it can take a long way to, to industrialize uh, and to have a, a validation to go further and beyond the, the POC or the MVP. So I think this is, uh, yeah, this is uh, a thing. For the money uh, side, uh, we try to have quicker processes. Uh, this is a, a fight inside the company. I usually uh, go to uh, to the myself to I usually uh, says uh, the startup to to send me the the bill and so I can uh, well move around the the, the company and uh, give it uh, in the hands uh, of the uh, the accountable people, the accounting people, so it can go faster because I know this is. Uh, we can have big pro long delay for, to to pay all the bills, and this is very crucial for for the startups. I, I know it. Yeah. Um. Uh, to, to 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 go back to the to the uh, methodology, what could be the next step? Uh, 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 what 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 do you have in mind in terms of uh, if you had to enrich your your methodology to leverage your innovation within an organization? What could be the next step? Uh, I have two uh, 
two thoughts that can be complementary uh, around this subject. Uh, the, the first thing I have some thought about is to uh, to go to to be able to receive uh, entrepreneurs. Uh, uh, I think uh, young employees, but maybe uh, not so young, uh, can have ideas and they, are, they can be uh, disengaged in the company because they uh, they can do it themselves. They have ideas, but uh, uh, they can't uh, do it inside the company. Uh, maybe uh, the lab and the Lich method can could provide a space where entrepreneurship can uh, flourish inside the, the big company. Uh, I think this is one way. Uh, the second way, if it doesn't work inside the company, maybe you can uh, ex uh, ex externalize the, the lab, and uh, so the lab can uh, incubate uh, external pro uh, projects outside the company, so it can be uh, uh, safer for uh, uh, disruptive ideas not to be killed by uh, the process and the political of big companies. Okay. Okay. Another one? Uh, there is one query from Fabien in, I don't know, in the Q&A section. Q section. Oh, I don't see the Q&A section, uh, so sorry. Where is the Q&A se section? Or maybe you can, uh, maybe Deepika, uh, you can uh, write it in uh, the chat, chat section. So I see the question from Fabien. Because I don't see the Q&A section. Ah, yes. Yeah, uh, uh, so Fabian asks... Uh, yes, go ahead. Yeah, so Fabian asks, uh, are you often asked to measure or evaluate ROI, or are you innovating on beliefs only? Or oh, are you innovating on what? Beliefs. Beliefs. Ah, uh, well, that's a good one. Uh, I say both. Um, uh, it depends of, uh, of the culture of the company. Uh, le, le, for two years and a half, I say we, we really uh, we try a lot of things uh, with the belief uh, that uh, the, the insurance was going uh, around uh, connected, connected home, uh, around uh, autonomous cars and uh, health uh, connected. Uh, lately, we are more uh, with the uh, CEO uh, in an uh, operational uh, spirit, uh, industrial spirit, operational excellence. So we do have to, to prove uh, ahead that uh, we, we can have some gains. Uh, it's not really, a, so it's a mix of belief and uh, a start of proof. Uh, as I said, I, I'm, I am working uh, uh, on a chatbot. Uh, our chatbot is uh, kind of original. Uh, everybody is doing chatbots around uh, uh, Facebook Messenger with, for clients. We are doing a, a chatbot for uh, employees to help employees answer the question from uh, the, the customers and to so they can uh, be augmented and so they can be more efficient. And so in that way, we clearly have a, a belief but we clearly uh, did uh, compute all the KPIs that uh, a chatbot could accelerate the time the people are, are doing uh, for answering a question from a, from a client. Okay. Uh, maybe it's the last question or another one. We have just time to to to. To answer another one, if, if there is one. No? So, uh, I would like to thank you very much, Olivier, uh, because it, it, uh, it, it was very interesting. It's not an easy exercise, uh, and, uh, and uh, really uh, both the content and the, and the way that you have presented uh, all uh, the the topic and uh, discussing about uh, innovation or or the risks or to to not innovate was very inspiring. So thank you very much, Olivier, and uh, uh, talk to you and see you soon. I hope. I hope so. 
So my book is not in uh, in English, but uh, yeah. for the French speakers, uh, I think uh, I hope they, they can uh, they can see it. Uh, I hope they can uh, he, he can pr uh, provide them uh, more uh, focus on what I'm saying. Yes, and thank you, uh, thank you to all for for listening and being uh, with us for an hour. And uh, if you have any question, uh, I put it all my uh, uh, email and Twitter. You can uh, contact me uh, there if you have uh, any questions uh, around innovation. It's always a pleasure to talk about the innovation, as you say, uh, as you know, uh, Jacques. So I hope to see you yeah. soon too. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much, you. Olivia, and uh, good luck for your book. Uh, we look forward Thank to you. seeing you. Yes. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.